You're out of gas on the side of a desert highway, thirsty, but you spot a pool of water just a few hundred yards away. But as you walk towards it, it only seems to get farther away. It's a mirage, a cruel trick caused by your eyes fundamentally misunderstanding light. Let me explain. Light, like all waves, bends when its speed changes. The easiest way to visualize this is imagining a two-track tank crossing at an angle from grass to ice. Now, because the ice is slippery, the tracks can't push the tank as quickly as they do on grass. But if the tank crosses the boundary between the ice and the grass at an angle, one of the treads will find itself on the ice before the other does. So the treads still on the grass will push the tank faster than the tread on the ice, meaning the whole tank will turn, straightening it out. That is, the tank will turn toward the slower ice. And light does the same thing. It bends toward places where it travels slower and bends away from places where it travels faster. In fact, if you work out the geometry, there's a single number that always stays constant along a light beam's trajectory. The sine of the angle relative to the direction of changing light speed divided by the local speed of light. That number never changes. And just as a check, let's make sure that this is reasonable for the tank analogy. If the tank drives straight into the ice, then the angle it makes with the direction of changing speed is zero and the sine of zero is zero. So regardless of whether it's on the grass side or the ice side, the angle must stay zero. But that makes sense. If both treads cross from grass to ice at the same time, no bending will happen. But if the angle is, say, 45 degrees and the speed drops by 10%, the tank will rotate a bit towards the ice, meaning the angle will also drop, keeping that number constant. And in fact, that idea that the sine of the angle divided by the local speed of light is constant is called Snell's Law, and we can use it to explain mirages. If the ground is hotter at the surface than it is high in the air, light will travel faster near the surface and slower at higher altitudes. So if light is coming down from the sky towards the ground, it will tend to bend up away from the faster medium. And if the change in speed is severe enough, the light rays can actually make a U-turn, bending back up to enter your eyeballs. This is called total internal reflection. And from your perspective, the light from the blue sky is coming up from the ground, looking exactly like a pool of delicious, delicious water. And unfortunately for you, this spells your demise.